going to interview someone I found at the circus. Um, hello, Kelsey, right? What do you do here at the circus? Uh-huh. Um, I charm snakes, and I extract their venom, and, um, oh, whatever else my brother wants. Oh, that's cool. You joined the circus in 681 BC. Um, this year, it's 672, right? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Hmm. Well, what do you want to know? Papa came to Alexandria and got Mama and me when I turned 12, and we joined. It wasn't fun at first, but I saw Nem, so I was happy. What does Cassie like to do for fun? Fun? I love fun. Fun is great. I do lots of fun things. I play with my snakes, and I play games with Big Brother, too. Oh, oh, I have secret fun, too. But no one knows about that. Shh. Oh, I like a secret. Do you want to share with our viewers about that? Mm-mm. No one knows about it. Oh, all right, all right. So patrons do want to know something. What does a day in the life of Kessie of Alexandria look like? Hmm. Well, my day changes a lot. If it's always the same thing, it's boring, and I hate boring. What is your greatest strength and greatest weakness? I'm not weak at anything. Because if I was weak, Nem wouldn't like me no more. So I'm super strong. Um, but I can't reach high things. So there's that. But I'm also smart. I like to learn. Learning's fun. I agree that learning's fun. Um, you like to uh, train snakes, do you not? Our viewers would love to see him. Um, how does one train a snake? And can, can we see him on screen? You can see him, but I'm not going to tell you how to train him. If I told you that, then you'd take my job away, and that wouldn't make you very fun. So no answer, nope. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Settle down. Um, but one thing, too, um, aren't snakes dangerous? So are people. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, true. Um, so what? Uh, speaking of people... Um, what is your relationship with the other members at the circus? I think they're good. Rekamir is a little boring, though. He's a good doctor. I just don't like him. Oh, uh, what makes him, uh, what would make him less boring? If, if he had fun, duh. If he, he's all healing nonsense. That's boring. Oh, hold on one second. We're getting a call. Um, oh, okay. Yes. Um, so a viewer has called in telling us that you are very close to the heir of the Tempest of Set. Sorry. Nem, did you say, right? Yeah. Well, of course I'm close with him. He's my brother. Why did a viewer have to tell you that? Uh, we're, we're just wondering. We're just wondering. Um, do you have any gossip to share about him? I don't gossip about my brother that oh. would be rude are you rude no i'm not i'm not rude. are, are I'm, you I'm just, are you sure <laughs> yes yeah i'm very sure i mean uh i don't like ladies. bullies i don't like bullies i told i totally understand i'm just here for the viewer's sake um so uh moving on <laughs> how many hours would you say that you put into your performances um, and would you recommend others joining the circus? Um, well, I've been doing this since I was 12, so it's a lot of hours. It would take a while if I were to count it all out. Um, but people should watch my for performances for sure. They shouldn't hop in. That would be just weird. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so, uh, more about the circus. If you could describe the circus in five words, how would you describe it? Um, super fun and really exciting. That's five, right? Yeah, I did it. Uh, has the pharaoh come to see the circus yet? He helps fund our circus. He's super oh, okay. cool. All right, all right. Cool, cool. Um, so uh, more about the circus. Do you suggest patrons stay for multiple days at the circus? Or is there, no is there enough to do and see? Um... For our viewers, is there a certain day they should come? They should come 
every day. It's super fun. There's always something new to see because if it was the same, it would be boring. We already talked about that. That's true. Uh, my, my viewers were just very concerned about that. Um, uh, kind of like how you go to the, um, if you have to take a day trip, but I'm very, very glad that you, you say that we can go every single day. That's very good for my viewers. Um, so that concludes our interview. Um, thank you so much for your time today, Cassie. Do you have anything else that we, you would like to say to our viewers? Yeah. Come to the Tempest of Set. You have so much fun, you'll never want to leave. Ever. All right. Thank you so much, Cassie. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right, so I'm here with Rick Meyer. Hello, Rick Meyer. Do you have time to talk to us? Um, our viewers in the newsroom is very, very pleased um, to have you on. We're from the newsroom at Apathy. Our viewers have been begging to know about the Tempest of Set. Well, if these fools within the Tempest of Set can refrain from accidentally hurting themselves, then I suppose I have time. Oh, good, good. So, what do you do here at the circus? I'm the Tempest of Set's doctor. It is my job to provide aid if any of the performers get hurt or injured, and I suppose I can help the visitors too. How would you describe yourself in general terms? The only thing you really need to know about me is that I take my job here very seriously. I've dedicated my life to this circus. What does a day in the life of Rec Meyer of Mambora look like? Most of my day is filled with experimentation. It takes a lot of such to procure methods of healing as I do. Healing is my priority, as you must understand, but I'm not as needed as often as I should be. I do have another role, but it's not of anything important or of interest. <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, so, would you say that you like or enjoy being part of the Tempest of Set? Like? <laughs> what does like have to do with anything? The only thing that matters is that I enjoy the vision that the people in charge have about the Tempest. Beyond that, hardly anything else matters. Right, right, right. So, uh, you joined the circus in 714 BC. Is that correct? Uh, what led you to joining? I would hardly say joined. I was only a year old at the time. No, I was raised within the circus. Officially, I joined in 700 BC at the whims of my father, who was a doctor at the time. Your father is a doctor? Is that why you be uh, became one yourself? It is not a matter of choice. Though I admit during my learning years, I had dreams grander than my station would allow. My, pra my father practically forced me into the career. What is your perspective on the slaves in the circus? Do they behave well? Our viewers want to know. The only thing you and your viewers need to know is that the slaves are properly trained and are almost always on their best behavior. What is your opinion about the safety of the circus as a position yourself? Are patrons safe? As I've said, most of my time is spent with experimentation. That should tell you that the patrons have very little to fear from the circus. As long as they're not idiots, they should come out happy and in the same shape as they went in. Oh, good, good. My patrons and our patrons will be very pleased about that. So, uh, Reckmeyer, what performances do you recommend to our viewers out there? Do you have a favorite? I do not have a favorite, per se. But I should warn against missing any performance by Cassie, or Cassie, I don't know how she pronounces it. I care not. She is the ringmaster's sister and has the same love of the circus that a Menem Hat does. Any performance by her is worth watching. Oh, good, good. We actually talked to her earlier this uh, evening. Have there been any advances in medicine while you've been here working at the circus? Of course I have. Do you take me for a fool? 
of course, most of my personal advantages remain in my private store. So don't expect them to break into market anytime soon. Are you sure? Can you give us a little secret for our viewers out there? No. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have any strengths that you want to share with our viewers? Any weaknesses? Are you plotting my murder? <laughs> I'm joking. I'd poison you before that happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> In truth, I prize my academic mind above all. But I will not hesitate to say that being 40 years of age can slow one down. <laughs> well, in that case, I hope you don't have any poison with you, right? <laughs> Perhaps. We'll keep that my little secret. <laughs> I adjust my poisons remain safely within my own tent. What does intelligence mean to you? Intelligence is a tool. It is the best one one could possibly have, but a tool nonetheless. Next question. All right, next question for our viewers out there. Are you married? Do you have a children? In metaphor, I am married to the Tempest. I have devoted my life to the circus and I will be here until I breathe my last breath. I will have no wife, I will take no partner. Whether or not I might have children, that's questionable. Do you want children? Not particularly. Though I'm not opposed to a child to continue on with the vital role of the Tempest when I pass. Are children uh, safe at the circus, just like our patrons are? Of course. Okay, good, good. It good. is advised that parents keep uh, rain on their children to not venture into dangerous areas, but otherwise perfectly fine. Oh, good. Uh, do you see yourself in your work being a member of the Tempest of Set for many more years to come? As I said earlier, I have plans to be here in some capacity until the very day of which I die. Thank you so much for your time today, Rekmeyer. Um, our viewers are very, very happy with your answers. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Time and life is fleeting. Order and life give way to chaos and death. Neither chaos nor death is something to fear, but that time in between is something treasurable. In the Tempest, the Tempest, rather, is, some, is in some way devoted to that very ideal. So while you can, enjoy the show. Thank you. All right. All right, so how are you doing on this fine day? I'm well, as always. Will we have more substantive questions, or shall I fetch a performer to answer yours? Oh, of course, of course. Uh, can you tell <laughs> us just a little bit about what you do? I am the ringmaster of the Tempest of Set, from soliciting the services needed to keep my people fed and at peak performance to actively engaging the crowds and ensuring every seat is always filled. My tasks are legion. Uh, so your father, uh, some guy of Cairo, died in 677 BC. Do you believe that you were carrying out his legacy? No. Some guy of Cairo's legacy is not the Tempest of Set. I am his legacy, and I create my own by perpetuating my grandfather's circus. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, so about the circus, uh, patrons are asking, what does a day of the life look like for Amenhat of Al Alexandria? I'm an Amenhat of the Tempest of Set. Thank you very much. I could spend oh. hours telling you about the day-to-day -day life as a ring of a ringmaster, or I can point to the circus itself and give you a more concise answer. Uh, what can patrons expect to see at the circus? The renowned Tempest Clique is a sight that no other that no other troop or busker could hope to mask. The Beast Tamers are a sight to behold. If you visit them, greet my sister, Kessie. She is pleased to make your acquaintance. Wonders beyond imagination are in store for those who enter, but to give every answer would spoil the allure of the mystery. Ooh, mystery. I love that. Uh, so our viewers know a little bit about the Tempest of Set, but how would one join? How would one become a performer? The Tempest of Set holds auditions and hires whenever the need arises. Anyone who feels that they are up to the task can hear the news as it travels across Egypt and meet us in Alexandria. Uh, what does showing loyalty mean to you? 
Loyalty to a person is fragile and fleeting, but not impossible. Those that show their loyalty to me do so by making the tempest of set foremost in their list of priorities. Those that draw closer still can find out the true meaning of the word and be liberated by it. What shows the, does the hair, air of the tempest of set recommend that viewers shouldn't miss out on? Every night, the titular Tempest of Set is the show that should be anticipated by everyone. The performers and the help work tirelessly to ensure that the ambiance is right and entertainment is abound for all to enjoy. Additionally, Cassie's performances with her snakes and Mary's fortunes are powerful draws that keep the crowds in the circus well after the tarp falls and the first show ends. For our international viewers, uh, where can we expect to see the circus? Does one have to travel to Alexandria to see the circus? Until this silly war is over, the Tempest of Set is based in Egypt and our tour remains the same year after year, with exception given to popularity or the weather. After the dust settles on the squabble between nations, the circus seeks to broaden its horizons and travel to Greece and beyond. The world is our oyster and its people are our life's blood. What do you say to some viewers being nervous about some of the dangers of, this, of the circus? Is it safe? The world's a dangerous place. If one fears danger, then why leave your home? Why go to work? Why live a life where fear is what drives every decision? Come to the circus and leave fear at the door, for thoughts of danger make for weak minds and empty pockets. Besides, we have Rekmir to sort out any injuries that do happen. Oh, yes. We talked to Rekmir uh, a couple days ago. Um, he's a very nice fellow. Yes, of course. <laughs> so, for my next question, are tickets affordable for our pu poor patrons? Do you have any opinion about that? I will not pretend that the circus is some sideshow events held by a bard that can take a couple of coins and fill their belly. The circus is a series of shows and its price is reflective of that. However, for those who cannot afford the entry into the main tent, there are additional performances available outside for their enjoyment. Does the circus have a political stance, would you say? This is difficult to, to determine. The Tempest of Set had, has benefactors just as any large organization should, especially among the nobility. Inherently, we do not want to or choose to weigh in on the matters of the day or the powers that be. Uh, if the circus chose a political stance, do you think that you would lose patrons? I believe that involving oneself in politics is inherently, uh, what's it called? Uh, difficult for someone such as us, because if we choose a side, then what sort of mystery is there in, in anything that we do? There's a, a loyalty, there's allegiances, and there's a sort of kind of, there's a sort of a necessity that comes with choosing be, and being on that side. So we choose the, to abstain and our day-to-day -day continues as it is. That makes sense, that makes sense. Um, so on a lighter note, um, is there anything to eat at the circus? What sort of question is this? Of course there are concession available to those who can afford them. I've told you already that we are not some buskers to pass by on the street. If you come to the Tempest of Set, be prepared for a long visit. Thank you so much for your time today. Do you have anything that you would like to say to our viewers? Come one, come all to the Tempest of Set. If you have any sort of inclination for entertainment, any desire to be astonished, astounded, and amazed, then we offer our hearts to you. See us, know us, indulge the senses and the marvels that we offer and leave with pockets lighter than they were when you arrived. Your patronage is accepted and your adoration will never be ignored. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.